One of our viewers asked, how do we achieve good color harmony? Well, I have several takes on that. Let me show you one of them today. So here's what our viewer asked. The viewer says, can you please talk about choosing a color set to achieve good color harmony? like two complements or one dominant and two neighbors of a complementary or four colors which set, uh, sit on a rectangle of a color wheel or maybe showing these are masterpieces. That's a full lesson. I have a, a way of achieving color harmony I want to show you to in this quick tip and then in quick tip, in our following quick tip uh, 122 I'm going to show you how some of the masters have used it and something about how some of the color schemes based on the color wheel can enable good color harmony. But let's look at uh, another idea today that's, that's built more on observation than common sense. And that is something we call the mother color. Uh, yeah, I know. Don't do that. <laughs> the mother color um, is simply a color that is put into every other color on the canvas. Let me show you a little bit about how that works and how you would make that decision. So if we have a scene like this, I already see how many colors are in this scene. Uh, sort of a yellowish orange boat, green grass, uh, we have the blue of the sky reflecting into the water, and we have um, then the blue sky itself. So we have quite a range of colors there. Now, if you just took colors straight out of the tube and mixed, say, cerulean blue or whatever blue you use for the sky, um, and put that in the sky, and then you move on down and took that attitude towards all your colors, you might have your entire painting out of harmony. Color harmony means that everything feels that it's under the same light. So, in order to get color harmony, you want a single color mixed into every color you use. Now, does that sound a little bit screwy? Well, let me show you how that works. Let's just take these, for example, and then I'll show you one other example. Uh, so, so if you were going to base your... I, I'm not going to do a painting. I'm just going to do some splotches because I wanted to, to uh, make this short for you so you can go ahead and get started. But, all right, so, so this might be the local color that we would uh, base, uh, well, it's in the range of the local color that we might put on our palette um, to form, to use for forming the boat. Um, then, other colors we might put on our palette for forming the entire scene uh, might be um, a green which we have mixed one way or another. And just, just for the sake of time, I'll just uh, reach for my mixture here of a, of a, a type of sap green. So, let's put this a little bit more there so you can see it a little bit better. So there's the green. All right, then, uh, then you would have the color on your palette that would um, would speak for the blue, perhaps. So you would choose some blue. Perhaps you might choose uh, an ultramarine blue, or you might choose uh, uh, some people just choose cerulean blue, which is not necessarily my favorite choice. But let's say blue. So now we've got the three major colors that we know appear in that scene. Okay, to harmonize those, we could choose any single color that among the three, we could choose any single color and see to it that that color gets mixed into every other color as we're painting. And that should give us color harmony. Now, you don't want to overdo that because you don't want it to be obvious, but let me just show you what will happen. Suppose, suppose we decided, okay, we want to put the yellow-orange, we want the yellow-orange to be the mother color. So, uh, yellow-orange by itself then, except for changing the values and the intensities that we would need to change in order to define the boat, uh, we wouldn't need to do anything to that. Now, but for the green, what we might do for the green is to just touch a little bit of yellow-orange into all, all the green that we use, whether it's the, uh, the, dark, where the greens where it gets, where the greens where they get the darker, I get that, that a little bit more defined, being a little stingy with my color here. Here we go. Here we go, right here. 
the greens where they get dark. And you see what happens there? We have a very faint feeling of a little bit more orange in there. So we begin to feel a closer relationship between this green and the yellow orange. Alright, so what about the blue? Put orange in blue. Well, yes. Now, let me show you how that works. So, I watch the brush really, really good so we can get a true reading here. And I'll just get enough blue mixed in here so that we would have um, a blue that might say sky. Alright. Barely a little bit of yellow orange. I would pull it right over here. And this has just a little bit of that yellow orange into that blue. And here it is right here. Now that that was a that was going a little heavy with it. That made the sky uh, seem a little bit uh, hazy. Well, that that wouldn't hurt because if you see how that's pretty close to the color here in the picture, and it won't feel hazy if you get your values right in here. So you could see that uh, taking yellow orange and adding yellow orange into all the other colors that appear, just a little bit, the amount depending upon, well, depending upon what you're observing, what you're trying to do. Uh, you can still keep the color and you have the color harmony throughout. Now, uh, the uh, one other way you can do that is to choose a mother color that's not among these three colors. So the mother color doesn't have to be among these three. For example, suppose I decided, okay, we've got that scene of the yellow boat and the, and the blue sky and all. Suppose I decided um, I, I would like to choose, say, a purple to put in the color. So in that case, what I might do is uh, I might even decide a red. Well, I, I could decide almost any color. Well, I saw, let's bring this over here. Let's pull some enough blue in here so we get kind of a purple and a little bit of a purple in here. In this case, if, if this is what you wanted to do for the mother color, you would add this color into all three. And so you would have the, the yellow, uh, the yellow orange of the boat, a little bit of that purple in it, just a little bit. And a little bit more. There we go. It changes it very slightly. Let's pull this right here. You see, it does change it very slightly, but it does still read yellow orange. Okay, I'll go and put a little bit of that uh, purple in the green and put a little bit of the purple in the blue and give you a full feeling for the whole thing. So here's the green in the brush. I put a little bit of the purple in the green. Just a little bit. I need to liven that up just a little bit here. Now we go. There's a little bit of the purple in the green. And here it is right here. Uh, it's in, uh, the intensity is reduced very slightly. We have a little bit of the purple in there. And then we'll put a little bit of the purple in the sky color. Always washing the brush out uh, between these colors. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. Alright, so let's see, they have a sky color there, and we're we'll using that, uh, just the ultramarine blue and white mixture. You know, what I did there, I'm going to back up, because I put that right in the mixture that I had used for, uh, I'm going to add the yellow in, so come over here, be sure it's pure. Alright, there we go, that's better. That would be more or less a sky color, so a touch, just a touch of this, this purple into the sky color. And that changes it very slightly. And here it is right here. And so now those three colors will feel harmonious. We have a, a full video lesson on heart color harmony and on the mother color itself um, that's found in series 26 of our video lessons. So if you go to dyingmice.com if you're interested in seeing an entire lesson on the mother color, um, check that out. and. And see if you might that might be something you want to pursue. And also, leave us some comments. We are getting now a lot of our quick tips from the comments that you yourself are leaving us. And we're more than happy to take those comments and, and develop a quick tip around the comment. Because we appreciate you and glad that you're with us as our viewers. And there's your quick tip.